Hey guys, it's Kara with Kinsley's Closet. We are painting a camper tonight, and um, I'd love to see if you cut your camper. I would love for you to jump on, on and join us. I am pulling a couple things up real quick while we get started. Um, so. Y'all jump on and say hi if you're here. Who's here? We're painting our camper. So if you didn't get yours, or you didn't get it cut, just um, shoot me a message and I will make sure you get that template so that you can cut it. Okay. Welcome. Um, I'm pulling up a couple things before we get started and we're going to paint our camper. Let me know when you're on. Let's see. We'll pull this up. Okay. All right, friends. I just realized I forgot my heat plate. So we will use, we'll make do. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paint ready. I'm gonna do turquoise and purple. If you painted your camper, tell me. Tell me in the comments that you painted it. Or, I'm sorry, if you cut it. And if you didn't, let me know that you need the template and I'll get it sent over to you. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm going to grab my paint and get started. Y'all let me know if you're on. Okay, so I'm just going to paint. I'm doing turquoise on the bottom right here. I've already primed my board white just so my paint would um, go on better. And in order to do that, you can either use white paint or in this case, I used um, one coat of white paint and one coat of gesso which is this stuff it kind of give it a rough gives it a rough texture like a canvas and my paint sticks really well so if you paint if you cut your camper and you've been waiting for the tutorial on how to paint it here it is not Facebook isn't popping up any comments so if y'all are on let me know who's on and what you've got going on tonight hello welcome did you get to cut your camper I'm painting the bottom part of it. It's gonna have a separated middle. And I'm just painting it um, turquoise on the bottom part. But I'm leaving a spot for the door. Turn it back around. Let's see, I think I'm gonna paint the whole thing. So, start right here. got a big brush tonight 
no first time watching oh well, welcome I'm so glad um, if you want the template so that you can cut your own camper just shoot me a message and I will send it over to you um, I sent it out this I guess it's been two weeks ago to give people time to cut it and get ready for tonight where are you joining me from All right, so I've got, let me show y'all where we're at. Oh, Tuscaloosa. Um, you must be an Alabama fan. My husband graduated from Tuscaloosa. So he's a big, big Bama fan. Let's see, I think I might just do that bottom part. I'm going to leave that for now. So, right now, no, it doesn't look like much, but I'm working on getting the bottom painted. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. And then I'm going to start working on the window. I'm just going to turn my board around. And I think I'm going to do a purple window. Let's see. Do a purple window and I'm gonna give it curtains. So I'm just painting it in. Roll tide. I normally have one, um, I feel like most of the times when I go live, I have one, a Bama shirt, but not tonight. He got lucky in the house that we bought. Um, it had a room already painted crimson. So that was his office. And guys, I'm totally freehand in this tonight. And if you do decide to cut your own camper and get the um, template just let me know if you also would like a um, a pattern of the painting where I can just give you a copy of what I do here and you can trace it on your board so y'all let me know if that would be helpful I do that for my virtual paint party people and I'm not sure whether they use it or if they've gotten brave and if they're learning to wing it. But either way, I provide it. All right, let's see. This was my purple. I'm painting the door. Oh, I just did the wrong purple. Let me try this one. How often am I online? It just kind of depends. Um, I normally send an email out that I'm going to go online, but this week got kind of messed up with um, my kids got back from Texas and they both had ear infections and we had doctor's appointments and football practice started. So it's just kind of random, but I do always post my tutorials that I paint live. I do always host them back on the page so that you can watch later if you miss it. Hopefully that helps. Yes, Pamela. Um, I think I'm hoping that came in as a message if so I will send you the template to the camper I just need your email address and I will send it to you so if you're messaging me telling me that you would like the camper template just um, let me know that you um, want it and that what your email address that you want me to send it to you is My family is watching um, Pirates of the Caribbean, so it's kind of loud tonight. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. No, it doesn't look like much. But we're just going to keep going.
Now, one thing I always tell my customers in the studio is you put wet paint over dry paint. You don't put wet on wet because it just pulls it back up and it gives you a rough board. So, I'm going to quit with my purple for now and I'm going to move on to another color so that I don't go over it anymore because otherwise I'm just going to mess it up. So, let's see. I think I'm going to do some green. can't see that can you? at this point I am just kind of layering paint so I've got the turquoise that I drew down at the bottom it's like a line across the camper and now I'm drawing the bush I'm gonna dip this in paint or in um, my water I'm gonna get some black Ooh, I got way too much. Now, if you are reusing the same brush right after you use it, my best trick is to get it good and wet and get all the paint out of it. And then take it on a microfiber cloth and just back and forth to dry it really quickly. And then you can use it again right away. So, let's put our wheel in here. What all did y'all do this weekend? I'd love to hear. We didn't do much. We just kind of hung out at home. It was our kids' first weekend back home. And so we just hung out and enjoyed having them back around. Now let's see. Hey, Connie. Connie, what'd you do today? Anything special? I'm just touching up some of this blue paint now that it's dry. Ended up with some gloppy paint. Trying to fix that. Yes, Tessa, the camper. That's what I'm painting. For Irving room. For living room. For Irving room. Church and nap. Oh, Pamela, that sounds like the best day ever. Tessa, I can't wait for you to paint on Friday, too. Um, I saw Tommy's order came through as well, which it's always so fun to paint with y'all. Did um, you see the nominate a teacher post? Because you can nominate yourself and you can have Tommy nominate you too. We already know you're a great teacher. So get your name in there a couple times. Okay, friends, this is where we're at. Oh, Tessa, I don't even know. Um, whenever it processes on my site, it doesn't tell me until I go in and download a form. And so, yeah, I just posted it this afternoon. But um, it doesn't tell me until I go in and download the form. So I don't always know what someone's painting until I go to cut. And then I need to look and see what I'm cutting. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a little bit more turquoise. Uh, 
Ah, my paint's getting all yucky. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something different. If it doesn't work, I'll just paint over it. So, I'm going to make an awning over my door. You'll see that? I'm just painting an awning right over the door. So if you're joining me and you're local, I am going to have a special open session next month. There's only going to be one in August. And at that um, session, we will be nominating, between now and August the 15th, we will be nominating teachers. Hey, Sherry, you're pretty awesome yourself. I keep meaning to text you, but I just don't have the words. But I've been praying, praying for you and thinking about you. And we will be nominating teachers between now and August the 15th. And I saw someone said they couldn't get the link to work. I will check on that. Um, I'll check on that when I get off tonight. I may have hit my limit because I got a ton of, of um, submissions this afternoon. So I may have to go in and upgrade how many submissions I can get. But what you do is you just click on the link and it'll take you, actually you can go to kinsleyscloset.com, both case. And then you're going to click on nominate a teacher or educator and it'll take you to a page that you can fill it out and it'll send me your form saying that you want to nominate someone and who it is and all of that good stuff. So easy peasy. Tessa, you know, cleaning the bathroom can wait. It's Sunday. I don't think you're supposed to clean on Sundays. Isn't there like an unwritten rule about cleaning on Sundays? But I don't think you should be. We did dishes today, and that was about it. I'm grabbing some gray paint and a smaller paintbrush. Yes, Tessa, it says in the form you can nominate yourself, and you can have other people nominate you. So, um, yeah, nominate yourself. Heck yeah. We all, all know you're a great teacher. Oh, well, I have too. Does that make you feel better? I'm painting, I know y'all can't see me as well tonight, but I'm painting the little tank. What kind of tank is that that goes on the front? Is it a propane tank? I don't know. I've never had a camper. But I'm painting this little tank up here, gray. Sherry, I know you have a teacher you can nominate too. My kids came back from Texas um, this week, and I had gone in their bathroom while they were gone. Okay, that's where we're at, guys, just so you can see. Um, and it was a disaster. Like, I can't even tell you how big of a disaster it was. And so I shut the door, walked out, and didn't go back in it until they got home. And only long enough to say, hey guys, guess what you're going to do tomorrow morning? I know, it's terrible. I couldn't believe they left it that big of a mess. It's terrible. I'm going around my window curtains to make it look like there's a frame sitting around them. Hello, Miss Donna. Welcome. I'm painting a camper. If you're not on my email list and you didn't get the camper template that I sent out as a freebie last week, and let me know and I will send it to you. You just have to send me a message. So guys, the key to um, painting all the details is a small brush and you go slowly and just take your time. All right. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Just got some purple paint in the gray. Give me a different brush real quick that doesn't have paint on it. Touch this up. Let's see. Put another coat of green and purple on. Let's see. All right, so all my brushes are getting dirty, so I'm gonna have to reuse some, wash and dry. I'm gonna put some more green on this over so you can see. I'm just adding green down here. Guys, I just kind of took my paintbrush and went whoop, 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 like that. And it helps if you make that sound, by the way. But I just jumped on, did that, and now I'm filling it in and darkening it up so that then I can add flowers right over the top of it. Okay, so there's the bush sitting back there. And now, let's see, I'm adding another coat of purple on the door. I do have a blow dryer sitting here to help me with the drying process, but it's so loud that I try not to use it when I'm live. But that is the way we blow dry, or the way that we dry quickly in the studio. All right, I'm adding some more purple up here. Okay, so I did my purple, I got my turquoise. I smell something yummy. You do? Mm -hmm. What do you smell? Uh, <laughs> chocolate. You wanna, you wanna come over here? I, I made a cake this afternoon. Can I please have some? It's pineapple though, I don't know if you like pineapple. You does it, try does it, it have pieces of pineapple? say hi to everybody? Hi. Does it have pieces of pineapple? Well, they're kinda like pieces, you can try it. If you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. Okay. Um, I'll make you something in a few minutes when I jump off. Okay, let's see. Alright guys, this is where we're at. Now, let me see. I'm going to use that gray. Oh, I'm going to go, I'm making a polka dot the easy way right here in the middle of my wheel. Let's see. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my tires. Now I'm getting a small stiff brush. Need some white. Hey, Reddit, honey, can you shut my door, please? Thank you. I brought you a little bit of pan. Okay. Make sure you seal it up good. All right. And when I do this, I am just kind of sw going squiggly all the way around. wonder who's on. If you're on... Jump on and say hello. All right, I'm 
is where we're at. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna give these curtains some folds. I was supposed to go to Walmart today, I just remembered. I don't know if y'all noticed, but my son was still in his pajamas. Okay, so I am gonna start working over here because this is wet and this is wet and this is wet. So I need to be working on dry paint. So I'm gonna do, let's see, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna make our creases for my awning. See that? Just added that. Now I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm gonna do the same thing Okay, so I put paint on my brush and I need it at a fine tip, so I'm just rolling it right on my board. So rolling it so that I can get it good and fine again. And then I'm gonna go on the other side of that white. Oh. See that? And now, I'm going to outline very carefully the whole thing in black. You have to be real careful where you put your hands when you're, when you're not using the blow dryer. So you'll smear your paint. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave it. Y'all see that? And now I'm going to add some black around my window frame. And don't be afraid to turn your board when you're painting. our window is coming together. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and a very small brush and I'm going to go between my drapes. So that it looks like there's a light on in the camper. This is like a bright light. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all real quick. See how it looks like there's a light on inside? 
my paint down here is almost dry. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna draw a window grid on here, straight across, and then up and down, which I do better if I try to go straight across. Turn my board again, and all right, see, there we go. Okay, I need more purple on my door. It's not good in coverage yet. So let me add another coat. Oh, wrong brush. Okay. All right, so this is coat number three on the purple which it would not have taken that much, except for I painted over the turquoise. So if you sketch your board out ahead of time, not do the way I did, um, then you wouldn't have to put three coats. It would have only taken two. Get some more purple. Okay. And this is just a dark purple, and we'll go back and add some highlights in a minute. We are going to go back and do some more gray on, okay, no one told me, what kind of tank is this over here? Is it a propane tank? So I don't know, never had a camper. So I'm not sure what kind of tank it is. Now I'm going to dip my brush in the black and the gray. And I'm going to just accent that little piece that sits on the ground. And I'm going to wipe most of that off and I'm going to go in with a lighter. Okay, so there's where I'm at. Hey Mackenzie, so I have something funny to tell you. I'm glad you're on. Um, the other day after you sent me that picture of those stairs, we were driving to Russo's to go grab lunch, and I saw them sitting out in your driveway. So now I know where you live. Hey, Pamela, um, yes, I am painting on wood. Let me show you the back. Um, this wood is laser cut, but I did provide a template this, I guess it was a week and a half ago, um, so that you could cut it with a jigsaw and I can help you walk you through that process if you need help but um, then you can jump back on and paint it so I will send that to you as long as I have your email address in my inbox when I get off okay so I'm getting some more brushes clean because I tend to use way too many I'm gonna get some pink this is my favorite color pink can you tell I also have because pink makes me happy. Um, I have to decorate my space even though y'all don't see it on camera. I have to decorate it so that my space is pretty so that I want to sit here and paint with y'all. Okay, paint brushes. What did I just do with those? Oh, over here. Okay, so I am going to use this smaller, like a medium sized brush and I'm going to make some flowers. And to do that, I am just going to swirl my brush in an odd shape. See that? These are going to be funky flowers. Hey, Kate. Kate, I missed you. We're going to have to do lunch someday soon. Those kids go back to school. Okay, so I'm doing three. Oh, heck, I'm going to do four pink because that's my favorite. Now, guys, these don't need to be perfect. Let me show you. Okay. Now I'm going to throw that brush in the water. Clean it real quick. What other colors should I do besides... 
purple or besides pink flowers. Looking over here, orange maybe. Let's see if I have. Oh, I don't have any orange. So the other colors, I could do light pink and dark pink. That might be fun. So got a light pink. I also need to come back up here and get my white, and I need to add tiebacks on my curtains. our curtains with our tie backs. Put in there. Okay, so let's use this light pink. And I'm just making odd shaped blobs, almost like circles, but not. And these, especially the light pink, will need a couple of coats. Okay, so that's where we're at. And I'm gonna start working on the door. I'm gonna add some light purple in. And I'm just kind of dry brushing this, and my paint underneath is not all the way dry, which is why it's kind of mixing. You can see that? And then I'm going to grab my accent brush, if I can find it again. I like my accents, accent brushes to be good and stiff so that I can make straighter accents. Okay, so this is the one that I'm going to use. And I'm going to dip in the white first. And I'm going to draw... And color it in a little bit right here in the middle. all that paint off. I'm going to get some more white and I'm going to do the accents just like I did the other times. I'm just going to kind of highlight around where I have painted. Then I'm going to go back with a black and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll show y'all as soon as I get done. Y'all hear my daughter in there playing with the dog? Okay, so here's where we're at. As soon as that color right in the middle dries, I'm gonna add yellow so that it looks like there's a little peep hole in the door. And I'm also going to go back and start filling in my dark pink flowers so that they're darker. Oh, you're welcome, Ruth. light pink again. So I make the shape the first time and then I go back and I fill it in to darken it. So funny listening to her talk to the dog. Hi, Nicole. I just realized I never put my apron on, did I? All right, friends. So here's our funky little camper. 
And guys, we're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for fun and vintage and unique. Okay, that's about dry. So I'm gonna go with my yellow right over the top. And then that's going to need another coat. In fact, I think I'm going to dip in the white and mix it a little bit with this yellow. A lot of times, friends, if you are painting yellow, the best thing that you can do is your very first coat of yellow. You can mix some white in with it so that it's not so transparent. And that way your second coat will cover better. Hopefully that helps someone. Okay, now I'm going to do the um, dots in my flowers. I'm gonna get a little bit more fresh yellow. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna I just dip the, the back end of my paintbrush in there. And then I just touch my board. And that makes my yellow dots. In the middle of my flowers. Now, those light pink flowers, they could use another coat, but I think I'm gonna try something different, so bear with me. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna use that thin brush again. Find there's a stiff one. Okay, I'm gonna accent before I forget. I'm gonna come over here and accent this tank still don't know what it is, but we're going to accent it anyway. And then, I didn't get that all over me. Okay, now I'm going to take this thin brush, I'm going to clean it out, and we're going to add a little bit of contrast to our flowers. So down here, I'm gonna take the light pink. Where's my light pink? Oh, it's not the right pink. Oh, it's over here. Oh well, we'll use this one. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of light pink, get it right there on my brush, and I'm just gonna add in some little like C shapes. to all of my dark pink flowers to just help it look like petals. You see that? Then I'm gonna take the dark pink and do the same thing to my light pink. Alright friends, I think our camper is ready to roll. Yeah, that was a that's supposed to be a joke. Um, I think we're done. If you want to do anything else to it, you totally can. You can add some more um, you can add some more accents up here. I'll show you what that would look like. Just take your brush, go across like that. See that? You can do that along the edges. But other than that, I think we are done. Here we go. All right, if you want to paint a camper of your own and you missed this, no worries. Um, if you didn't get the template, all you have to do is send me a message on my page and let me know you would like it. 
and drop your email address and I will email it to you. And then I will also post this video so that you can go back and watch it from the beginning and paint your own camper. So thank y'all so much for painting with me tonight or hanging with me, I should say. Um, hopefully a couple of y'all had cut it and painted, but until next time, hope y'all have a fantastic night. Bye.